the other day all excited to get my snowmobile off the trailer I just grabbed it from Mike's house Polaris is all on the RX-1 I go to pull over the Polaris and it doesn't pull over I unloaded this thing by myself yanking on it and then I went to the doctors he said I was close to having a hernia so there's that I wasn't gonna film this but now I have to film this because this bolt right here is supposed to release the clutch and then you can get your belt off and then pull the whole thing off right obviously that did not happen. It broke off there. I don't know how. So I want to start this video with me cutting the belt off of this. I thought it'd be really funny because there's absolutely no way for me to pull this off of there with the belt on it and there's no way for me to spread it because the bolt's broken in there. That belt smoked anyways. I've got a spare belt. Let's cut this off. And there's your weekly tutorial on how to remove a snowmobile belt. For the record, you shouldn't do what I do. This is purely for entertainment reasons only. Yeah, look at that. So easy. It really makes me mad that I broke that bolt in there. I paid $7.50 to have that shipped to me so I can spread this clutch apart, and it didn't do its job. Mm. My drill doesn't have enough cojones to get these off here. So, how do I get these off? All right, we're back at it here. Check out this motorcycle I just bought. Look at this friggin' thing, man. This is a 1986 Honda Shadow. It's got the chameleon paint job. This thing is pretty much mint condition. I bought it for, get this, $585. Mint. Anyways, I brought my clutch to work the other day. And I had my friend help me get it apart right here the bolts were seized so badly that we weren't actually able to take it apart and clean it but we got a uh, new bolt where i broke that other bolt off the the uh, clutch spreader so now i'm actually able to spread it apart by the way happy carhartt season i finally broke out the old carhartt it's getting colder in here in vermont soon the snow will fly and the smiles will be all around boom baby we got that all torqued to spec and now it's time to open the clutch and see what happens you hear it opening up clearly open a lot more so now we can get the belt not this one but this one and slap this on here nothing like a fresh belt to get you going i'm gonna need two hands for this oh yes oh yeah now we simply loosen this up and that'll make it tighter on the clutch and we good brother we good hopefully when we go to pull it over the track doesn't grip moment of truth but the first pull we'll know if the track is gripping I gotta give it a little throttle test, but pretty sure I'm gonna pass out if I stay in here any longer. Look at all that cold smoke billowing out. She's alive. All right, moment of truth. burning belt not good all right now I'm gonna jack the back end up see if maybe we can get it going a little bit we got the track completely suspended so now I'm hoping we can maybe jostle that clutch into moving before I completely burn the new belt I just put on ain't happening boys and girls so that means I have to get that clutch back off of there we have to get it apart and we have to clean it Look at this beauty, huh? Same exact clutch. Uh, came off another 2014 Polaris Assault. Used the course, but if this works, 
We know the other one's shot, and most likely I'm gonna clean it up and then try to sell it on eBay to make up my loss for buying this one. Let's see what happens. There's the old girl. Man, she's getting a little rough around the edges. Got some paint chipping. Originally it was red, of course. Spray painted it, uh, what, three years ago? Threw this Deviant Ink wrap on it, which looks pretty sick. She's been used and abused. Definitely have not been easy on the old girl, but she's still been a good sled for me. You guys gotta let me know in the comments if you think I should sell this thing and stick to the older sleds, kind of what I've been leaning to. Everybody seems to like the old sled content. You know, 70s, 80s, 90s, early 2000s. But if that's what people want to see, I'm gonna stick with that. So I wouldn't mind getting rid of this thing if it's what you guys want. Oh! All right, test this puppy out. Make sure she fits first. Oh! So we got our old one here, which I gotta grab the bolt off of. Before we get our belt on, we gotta spread it apart, of course, with our new spreader tool that hasn't failed me, like the one I bought for $7.50 on Amazon. Highly not recommended by me, obviously. It is spreading, so that's a good sign. That would be some ripping if this thing was also seized. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other one because the bolts, to actually take it apart, like I said before, are stripped, so might have to just toss it in the woods. Look at that. Now we loosen our bolt here and that should close the clutch onto our belt. Now the ultimate moment of truth where we fire this thing up and see if there's any difference. And if there isn't, we got something going on elsewhere and I don't even want to think about it right now. We solved it. Done. The 2014 players that saw 800 is good to go. You guys gotta let me know down in the comments if you want me to sell that thing. Pretty sure I'm gonna sell it. I might even have it sold by the time you comment. But thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.